What's up, metal fans? This is Flight of Icarus with MetalTrenches.com. If you haven't already, please do subscribe to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about Campfar, which is a Norwegian band that has been making black metal for nearly 25 years now, having been founded by frontman Dolk in 1994. They even won the Norwegian Spellemann Grammy Award for their 2015 album Profane. The band went on a brief hiatus in 2017 due to health-related issues, leaving the future of the band in question, but fortunately, Campfar rallied together to deliver this new album, Ophidian's Manifest via indie recordings. Now, while Campfire is a black metal band through and through, I can't shake the folky vibes I get from listening to this latest album and some of their previous material, too. At times, I find myself drawing parallels to the likes of Moon Sorrow and Nocturnal Mortem. There's even a part towards the end of Eremit that sounds like low-key and Cifero. And it's not that they utilize folk instrumentation, more so they simply use melodies and overall songwriting approaches that have a certain timeless, ritualistic quality. And speaking of which, in many ways, Ophidian's Manifest frequently comes off as an even darker, less polished version of Rotting Christ's album Rituals, with its mesmerizing use of purposeful repetition. The song Dominion deepens this atmosphere even further with the bewitching vocals of Norwegian rock singer Agnete Koldstubrings, which I probably completely butchered in the pronunciation, but you may have previously heard her before on the Dimu Borgir track Gateways. And also, what sounds like very subtle Hammond organ. These additions aside, it's another hypnotic track comprised of grooves that are designed to get your head mindlessly bobbing. In addition, the band does utilize a few other instruments over the duration of the album, most notably piano scattered throughout, some acoustic guitar, and also very moody strings and choral synths on the epic Skamlos. Overall, this is a really solid album. I'll admit that I don't hear a lot of new ideas here, and it feels as if it has two endings between Skamlos and Detsorte, but nevertheless, I'm captivated by the dense atmosphere, haunting vocals, and infectious guitars. Because of that, I give Ophidian's Manifest a 10 for enjoyability, an 8 for musicianship, and a 7 for innovation for an average total score of 8.3. B. Thank you as always for listening, like and comment if you have something to say, and hit the subscribe button for more weekly videos. But for now, this is Flight of Icarus signing off. I will see you in the trenches.